Hey folks, welcome back to our fantastic Undertale Let's Play. We were just discussing um, our computers and how awesome they are. I was expecting my computer to take it like, I don't know, because I, I forgot I completely upgraded. And um, when I was about, like, my old computer took about like 20 minutes to do the render, but like, mine just did it in like two seconds. Like, oh, we could actually record part two then, we've got time. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's nice having a nice machine, a nice computer that can run things nicely. And you are recording your audio? Yes, I am, yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm recording it separately um, through Magix. So I'll let Magix do the job. Um, hello, Traveller, how can I help you? Um, I'll probably I'll buy a cinnamon bun. And... You haven't had to use a single item. I've used them. I've used a few um, those candy things I, I, I took from earlier, but um, I've still got a few items. But yeah, so hopefully this part should be a little bit better to watch because I was using Camtasia. It was like enforcing some kind of um, stupid frame rate limit, but now I'm using um, Fraps. Hopefully it should work a lot better. Um, it'd be easier for me to edit as well. But uh, that's uh, getting back in the swing of things. There's going to be a few um, audio niggles probably here and there. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted <laughs> themselves. <laughs> the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can borrow it under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we get that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yep. That's life. I guess it would make sense for me to read the female voices. Yes, I think so. Yeah. About it. <laughs> that uh, wouldn't be a half bad idea, to be fair. I don't want it to be too loud because um, I think it was a little echo in part one as well because like my microphone was also picking up the speaker so I can hear you speak because my headset's broken. <laughs> <laughs> so once I get my headset, like a new headset sorted, I won't have this problem anymore. But uh, I'll just uh, make do with it for now, I think. So fingers crossed it shouldn't come through um, as much. Um, I'll equip the manly man... Manly... Manly man... I was going to call it banly man nan mandana. Banly bandana. <laughs> Manly bandana. <laughs> English is... Uh, I'm struggling with this at the moment. Um, uh, put the faded ribbon back in there. And snam a piece that can go in there. And that'll do for now. Was there, like, an easter egg with this in? Something? Um, there's a thing you can do. Sure. Uh, you can stay in the inn. Spend 80G. Stay in the inn. With the, with the three bunny rabbits next door in, like, a huge bed. <laughs> uh, leave the, leave this room. You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money <laughs> back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. And um, that's a little uh, buff you can do. Um, if you do that, you get an extra ten health. As a, as an extra buffer, but if you go past twenty, go back to twenty, you can't. Mm -hmm. you, you need to like refresh it again if you want to have that extra health boost again. Yeah, makes sense. So um, it is worth doing while you're here. If you've got eighty G, it's worth doing. Um, isn't my little cinnamon bun just the cutest? <laughs> bun buns are so adorable. I find that weird. A bunny having another. I think that's a bunny on a lead, a leash. Bunnies like walking other bunnies. That seems like weird. Like a mini to me. bunny, <laughs> big bunny walking up. A small bunny. That Regular seems a bit weird bunny. to me. <laughs> that lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. 
I think I figured it out. No, never mind. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Awful teens tormented by a local monster by decorating its tree like... Oh, that was that monster we had seen earlier. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> it's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are dressed from Santa to various, various locals. Oh, that's nice. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so we're in Grillby's, the, uh, I guess, like the restaurant. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. <laughs> hmm, isn't it human food tastes different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> I don't want to spend too long in here because I think we've already seen all these bits and pieces in um, your your playthrough. But um, there's like uh, different bits. Yeah, I think we spoke to every single creature there. I think we did. Well, at least most of them, anyway. Everyone is always laughing at Dragon Joe's trying to forget our modern cries. Cries or crises? I think yeah. Crises. Oh, crises. Crises. Yeah. Crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> it's a mouse with a massive scarf. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Okay. The libra. That makes sense. Libra. 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 That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? <laughs> God looks like uh, that guy, that Mike from uh, Monsters Inc., doesn't he? A bit, uh, a, a pink version. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it looks exactly like him. <laughs> When I was younger. <laughs> I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I am the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> and oh, the they, irony. They, oh, no. There's... There's, there's, the Undertale is like that. There's, I don't want I don't to like, dwell on everything because there's a, I don't want to um, touch absolutely everything. Uh, because I'd rather, I'd rather like, leave some extra flavour text. Uh, if, if you ever want to play it again, you can actually... I don't want to like, do everything, if that makes sense. If It's a mailbox overflowing with unread mail. Junk mail. This mail Junk is mail. the mailbox is labelled Papyrus. Looking side, yes. It's empty. Yes. <laughs> so Sans never checks his mail by looks of it, like, ever. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. I mean, obviously. Let's move on to the next section. Human! Allow me to tell you something about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. Admiration for another puzzle, another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. <laughs> I don't ever wonder what's having, what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then, 
I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh god, here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> This is quite a difficult fight as well. Um, well, I wouldn't say difficult. You can't lose it as such, but um, it is annoying if you like lose each time because he, he keeps resetting the fight. But like, if you lose three times, I think like he just lets you go anyway. But um, I don't think I've ever gotten that far. Ooh! <laughs> I'll just stay still. <laughs> 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 and that all that every single time that a new person plays that it catches you off guard. It's now like a practically a platform and <laughs> that, that You're I'm, blue now. That is absolutely another another one of Undertale's like wonderful like spins on the on the UI. Like it completely catches you off guard that the gameplay just by like adding gravity to the equation, it's like changed it into a platforming game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's just it's just such a clever use of um, resources. It's 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 wonderful. I just absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let me use my special attack. Oh, I'm forgetting to do the voice. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Smells like bones, of course. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh god! Oh, nearly touched that one. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly got me with a fast bone there. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Is he just talking to himself? Oh, bugger. Yeah. It's okay. Unparalleled spaghetti. That's not. Is that not even a word? Spaghetti? Spaghetti? Well, I haven't heard it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Undyne would be really proud of me. Whoa! Oh no, jump too early. Oh! So close. Whoa! Trying hard to play. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. God, this is difficult. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> my brother will. Well, he won't change very much. Oh my god, I, got, I can't oh, believe oh. I got hit by that. That was ridiculous. Papyrus is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Whoa. This is where the extra 10 hit points is really useful. How will I know if people sincerely yeah. like me? Damn it. Oh, really low. Oh, God. It's moving. Ooh, nice. Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> Someone like you is really rare. <sighs> I thought, I swear to God, that thing hit me, but I got away with it. It, it looked like it, but I guess Maybe it didn't Maybe the hit did trigger the hitbox. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't think they'll let you go. Ooh, blue, I'm mixing up a bit now. I have blue, white, blue. Oh, whoa, God! Nice. Nicely done. After, after you're captured and sent away. Whoa! Got away with that. Papyrus is considering his options. Oh, I don't need to use a recovery item. I've still got plenty of health there. Ah, no, who no, no. cares? Give up. Whoa! Papyrus is rattling his bones. Give up or face my special attack! Oh, damn it, that caught me oh, off guard. Oh, no. Ow. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I think I might be able to get away with not using okay. any items. Items? Items. Items with a H. Items. Whoa. 
Nice. Quite a lengthy battle this is. Yeah. Wait, whoa, wait, whoosh. Oh, bugger. Oh. Uh, I better not leave it too low because I don't want to like get. Um, Have to do yeah, it all over again. I'd rather yeah. take the ten. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Behold my special attack! Oh, oh, the dog's got a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! What are you doing? Come back with my special attack! Oh, the bone, the, the dog st stole it, I guess. A really, a, re a really cool regular attack. So what is he doing exactly? Ooh. Is he just like lobbing bones at me? Is that what he's doing? Actually, physically... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> skateboarding. Ski. Oh no 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 no! Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh my good giddy aunt. It's clear you can't huh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now, you, th this is an opportunity. If you wanted to, you can kill him instantly. Because, um, like as a betrayal kill, <laughs> if you wanted to. But I've not that I've ever done that. But like that is an option if you wanted to. I'm just um. Just, it's still quite, it's still really loud, even though I said it really low. Whoops, whoopsie daisy. There we go. ho <laughs> ho! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undi tell me if this voice is annoying. Uh, I don't actually tell. I'm, I can't actually tell if it's annoying <laughs> or not. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend Quantity remains stagnant. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what happens if you say what a loser. I've never done that. I've never had the heart to say that. But that wouldn't impact your passive. I don't passive, think. I don't think so, but I didn't want to chance it either way. <laughs> I'm not 100% on that. To be fair. Um. I'm a voice. It hurts, it hurts my voice as well. Was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magic of seal trapping us underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with a soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. <laughs> Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be back. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I guess we could. And can you actually go? Yes, and yes. Now? You, you can do the uh, date sequence. That's what I'm going to do now. I'll do that now. Like, uh, it is actually possible to like um, completely skip this section and like um, completely forget about it. Um, and not actually get the best ending. If you forget to do it, you have to just basically go back and do it again, basically. So you came back to see me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
My house! <laughs> Here's a little Easter egg. Hang on, let's, let's see if I can... Oh, try, let me try and trigger it. Ah, it's really difficult. Hang on. Hang on, let me just... I need, I'll add it going then. Uh, let's... You can get you can get him like um, being a good host is a real workout. There we go, <laughs> right? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <laughs> let, let me do it again. Um, so what? He has to be on the, the right the left -hand side. Left side, but like I don't think I was quick screen. enough. I don't think. Unless that was it. I think like uh, just making him go back and forth. Aha! Uh -huh. Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labelled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Okay. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans, <laughs> stop plaguing my life with incidental music. This is my brother's pet. This is my brother's pet rack. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, after us take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. But filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! <laughs> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. <laughs> Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it back to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Do you do? Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Oh. Forget it! <laughs> <laughs> you touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Oh, nice. Bit nice. of cash. Ooh, it's my favourite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You take a look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> wow, being a ghost. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing that one. That's my yeah. room. If you've finished looking around, we can go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Uh, not yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. I guess that's Sans' room. I, I don't know whether yeah. it's actually possible to get inside there. I really don't know. But I've never been able to figure it out anyway. That's my room. Let's go in there. Hang out. Hey, those are the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it just basically just happened. <laughs> the internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, it says here that it is possible to get into Santa's room, but you need to do a pure pacifist uh, run. And get Sans Judgment Dialogue, and then see you reload, 
and do it three more times, and then he will give you a key to his room. Oh, so oh, I guess yeah, we're not okay. doing that. <laughs> oh my god, three more playthroughs. I don't think I can manage that. To be fair, <laughs> uh, but it's nice to know. Nice to know. A double digit is twelve away from a double digit follower count. So he's got like minus how many? <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. Minus two. That book's one of my favourites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Mind. That next book's another one of my favourites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside my closet except me sometimes. <laughs> Clothes are hung up not neatly inside. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> ah, yes. Action figures. The great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> <laughs> that's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive around down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> so, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Begin the hangouts? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's hang out! <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually done this before, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! <laughs> I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one, press the C key in your keyboard for a friendship HUD. Or A, should be. Oh, it actually wants me to press it. Okay, see. And it is a Monday, we're recording it on. Wowie, I yeah. feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them to hang out. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus. We'll hang out with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's part for <laughs> time for part three. The crime hood. Oh man, the crime everywhere, man. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you can. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head? You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you're also wearing clothing. <laughs> no, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, you planned it all. You're way better at hanging out than I am. No, your friendship power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you're best of me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out. And I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, <laughs> I always wear my special clothes under my regular clothes. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret stuff? <laughs> no. No! A genuine compliment. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating hat. But who doesn't? <laughs> God. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. My hat? My hat. My hat. <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. 
It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You have no idea, though this appears to be spaghetti. <laughs> this ain't any plain old past. This is an artisan's work, silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken <laughs> cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papa. <laughs> Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You eat, you take a bite, your face reflexively scrunches up. <laughs> the taste is indescribable. <laughs> What a passionate expression! <laughs> you must really love my cooking, and by extension, maybe even more than I do! Ah, ah, no! <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool is a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. You should hang out with my boss, Undyne. I think you, if you spread your friend, friend energy out more, you'll have more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> oh, God. I don't remember. Did we ever call Papyrus? I don't think we ever did, did we? Um, we should try that. But let me let me do let me know if you, if the voice is annoying. I've, I've been doing it for the last fifteen minutes. I don't, I don't know what <laughs> I personally like it, but I don't know what people think of it. Well, it's too late now. We've done it in two um, episodes, in uh, back to back, so um, it's, it's too late now. It is what it is. It is what it is. Onwards we go. Yo, are you sneaking Yo. out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ah. Oh, I remember this part. Let's save again. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. And there's Mr. Sanzi. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill me. Want to come? Yeah, why not? If, well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. You know what would be great if you worked two jobs and you had like fifty uh, vacation days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legally entitled to to twice the amount of holiday because I work for two 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 different companies. Alas, it doesn't work that way. Hey, hey yeah. everyone. Hey Sands. Hi Sands. Greeting Sands. Hi Sandsy. Hey Sands. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. He must be thinking of brunch. So he must do that every single day. He just like keeps like showing up for food all the time. Yeah. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh. Let's have burger. Uh, burger. Or does it burger. actually matter? Yeah, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. 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 <laughs> Cheeseburg and Hamburg. So what do you think? Of my brother? <laughs> I never said I'm cool <laughs> before. Of course he's cool. he will be cool if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, sure, gotta have ketchup on a burg. Bon appetit! You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops! Ah, oh, forget about it, you can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard, like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, 
he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I think we have heard of a talking flower, <laughs> but... I don't think I've ever said is no. It, is it really... Like, is it this really important? Because... It's, it's just really more um, flavour text. It's more... So I'm gonna say no. See what's... I'll tell you then. It's just more, um... Bit, bit extra dialogue, if one way or the other. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Welp, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Uh. Just kidding. <laughs> Ruby, put it on my tip. <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't paid his tab in like six months or something stupid. <laughs> By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. So okay, <laughs> I like the ketchup. <laughs> 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 that never happens <laughs> with ketchup breaker. bottles. It's always like the ketchup gets stuck in that in the bottles. You never. But anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's like you all, you seem to have the opposite problem. Yes. Um, it's like uh, sans like um. You become aware that like Sands is like sort of. I think he's like he must be aware of like the um, re resetting timeline that's paradox that's going on in this world because he's aware of the. Um, he's obviously aware of Flowey and um, like um, he's sort of like aware of like the player's ability to save and um, stuff like that. He like he, he like the more you get to you talk to him, the more you understand like he knows more than he's letting on. If that makes sense. All that, all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the const constants of this world. Never trust a flower. <laughs> That's one of the constants of this world. That's really. Cl if if you if I did it before, like talk to him first, I wouldn't have known what that flower said. Yeah. 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 A nice little Easter egg there. Save the game. Let's hang out again sometime. Right, uh, I think there's something. If I remember, there's something down here. Like, uh... oh, there's a camera behind the waterfall. Oh yeah, this is uh, one of those. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Um. Oh yes. And this is where I can access the uh, box. Uh, I don't need these right now. I don't think monster candy. I'll take that. There's a two-two line on the ground here. Will you take it? Yes, I will. Uh, oh yeah. Of course, I'm going to equip that. Of course. I don't know whether it's stronger than the bandana. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, but anyway, I'll just equip it anyway. As uh, it's just better armor, I think. Okay, here we go. Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here in my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see... You see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh shit. <laughs> uh -oh. 
Where did she disappear to? Ooh, ominous. Oh! There's this okay. kid again! What, 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 what? Did I give him a voice? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That. That's awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. He doesn't have any arms, <laughs> bless him. Or her, I'm not sure. The monster creature. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I've already saved it, that's fine. Yeah. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. This is more like commentary on the game this time around in part two, I think. Um, unless you've got anything you want to discuss or talk about while it's a bit of a lull. Oops. Ooh. Oh, here comes Aaron, the horse, no, horse mermaid we ghost. Can just enjoy thing, the game. Whatever. Oh yeah, I remember Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Flex. Because he's there's a there's a gym uh, near me called Flex. <laughs> Hangs out in the gym, like. Flex harder. I guess that's a stereotypical name for a yeah. gym. <laughs> there must be a Flex in every city. <laughs> Out of the room. <laughs> he flexes himself away. Nice. <laughs> I don't know whether I did this little. Uh, there's a little secret here. I don't know whether I showed you in previous playthrough. I'll just uh, set it up. I'm not sure. Seems familiar, but I can't remember. Again. I can't. I really can't. But uh, I'll do it again. All the same. Walk down this. Uh, Secret alleyway. I wasn't just ready for the response. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Of course. You got the abandoned key. <laughs> There's a quiche under the bench. It's just a bench. Squeak, grab that up there, and grab that one, and boom. And off we go. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially <laughs> until I got yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he gave us his number, so I assume that we gave him ours? Unless, like, we did... Well, I guess I not. I guess not. I guess not. So, what are you wearing? I'm I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? <laughs> I don't think... It, it just, like, changes the tech. It doesn't really matter what you say, so... So, you are wearing a dusty tutu. <laughs> Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. And I think if you change it... <laughs> it changes the di change to something else. It, like, the dialogue changes. Which is cool. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Oh, apparently uh -oh. not. Washua shuffles up. Oh, Washua. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> Ask him to clean you. He hops around excitedly. <laughs> Green means clean. Oh, that's not fair. Ah. Oh, no. Oh. Wins rinsing off a pizza, but like, oh, I got the job done. That's fine. Yeah. I wish my sister and I will I see the real star someday. Yep. Oh, it seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope. Yes. Why not? We'll check wall. So that's a clue. Yeah, just 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 to tell you where to go. 
Gengar. Don't think there's anything here. Don't think. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would attack the soul of nearly every monster, just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power, it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. So it, it's basically establishing like this. There's this like great war between the humans and monsters, and um, humans, I think, I guess, imprison the monsters inside this realm, like underground. And uh, that, pro that this happened like hundreds of years ago, oh. I think. Oh God! Yeah. Gotta run! <laughs> Gotta run! Gonna make it without getting hit. Let's see. Techers! Yeah! Suck it, Undyne! Oh, it's close! Oh, get uh, away uh, with that one! Oh, you damn it! Oh, no! Oh. Did you hit me there? Yeah, I think she did. Yeah. I'm annoyed I didn't get that in no hit. Ah. Oh, well. No mind. I failed. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm still going. Oh no, little monster, monster child. Boy girl. Monster child thing. <laughs> I think that, that's the thing as well. Like, um, it's I think it's meant to be ambiguous. Like, cause like you know, like the main character we control in Frisk. Uh, it's never actually revealed, is it, that whether Frisk is either a boy or a girl or um, non-binary. I think that it's, it's deliberately intentional, like that. So. Same with the mon the monster so it it child as well. I don't know whether it's a male or female. Yeah. I don't know on that one. Well, that's probably my decision, so that uh, all players can relate and imagine. Yeah, so you can super. Yeah, exactly. I'm never washing my face again, man. Are you un <laughs> are you unlucky? I might, I might go for a female. I don't know. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. So, like, I think uh, monster monster. <laughs> Little monster child is a fan of the a fan of un, of Undan. <laughs> yep. Little, little mousy. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> uh, knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's our best oh, pal, buddy pal, Sands. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, why not? Nothing can go wrong by doing this. <laughs> huh? You ain't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give it you a full refund. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need to use the box right now, but I'll put the 2-2 two -two away. I don't need that. Oh, here's the uh, nice scream salesman. Yeah. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. I never, I never actually use this system. You, you can actually do it, but it's just a waste of time, really. Just you might as well. Um, I usually buy one, but um, I never actually buy three because it's like I've, I've got all the recovery items. The ancient glyphs have been yeah. painted over the list of twenty-one different flavors. <laughs> the box contains one card. Take a card now. I don't need it. I don't need it. So if you buy three, you get a fourth one free. So, but. There's better recovery items. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? <laughs> What's over here? 
A little ducky. Oh, a ducky. Uh, can't get to him. Uh, he's over the other side. So, um, we'll leave that screen, I guess. Like, don't you just love the soundtrack? I do. It's uh, it's wonderful. And like, again, Toby Fox pr practically composed pretty much all of it on his own. <laughs> yeah. I've listened to this soundtrack while working. Especially uh, what, uh, the uh, is, I think it's I think it's waterfall where it's like a quiet um, quiet ambience. I think the previous screen had that little track, but uh, oh, yeah. I can already spare these guys already. Yeah, no problem. Spare them. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yeah, why not? Um, is it is it? A, can I equip them? Oh, I've, I've replaced my stick. Uh, when well, I was holding already with a with a pair of ballet shoes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think these do anything. Unless there is like a really like a sequence you need to. There, there's, there, it's possible. Guess. It's possible. <laughs> you, something. you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. This is really cool. Oh, Washua and Aaron appear. <laughs> clean me! You ask Washua to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh, oh, that's not fair! Oh, it was nearly... no. oh come on! Ah, uh, no! That's not fair! <laughs> I got really bad RNG that time. Ow! Try again. Oh, God, I'm doing really badly. Oh! oh I'm gonna have to use a uh, a nice scream. I'm gonna have to use one of those. Whoa! Oh, whoa! It's okay. I got a bit of uh, health. It's all right. Um, then uh, Aaron, we can. Oh no, we can spare. Um, get rid of Washua. Easier to uh, deal with. Okay. Flex. This wasn't too bad. But this is probably the easiest. Time. Yeah, as long as you get the rhythm right, you're okay. Ready for your next flex. Yeah, go on then. Next flex. Keep flexing. It flexes him out oh. of existence. <laughs> yeah. 55 the gold. One thing I... Yeah, nice. Nice draw from there. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know... Her opinion of you is very... murdery. <laughs> well, don't worry. N not Worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I'm not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So, because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a dusty tutu. Even though you told me you were... <laughs> Instead, I made something up. I told you you were wearing... a bandana. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it pained me to it pained me to tell such a bald faced lie. I know you'd never ever wear a bandana, but your safety is more important than fashion. <laughs> Dang. I just want to be friends with everyone. <laughs> oh. That's a brilliant bit of that's a fantastic bit of a foresight that is. It's like no matter what you do, what no matter what option you pick, it like automatically changes the dialogue to suit what you're wearing, yeah. regardless. It's it's that's brilliant. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. If you think, oh, I'll be clever, I'll, we I'll wear something else. But no, Papyrus like, still ends up <laughs> dropping yeah. you in it. Um, you lie immobile with Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Oh, there's a tiny. I think one of them. Um, oh no, it doesn't really do anything. I'll just I can just spare them then, I guess. Uh, okay. I got a little bit of gold for that. Two gold. Okay. Yeah. The power to attack the souls. This is the power that the humans feared. 
Oh, ominous. The music stopped. Oh no! Hey there. Hey I'm, there. What, what, do you want to do a voice for this one? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would be better to, to uh, imitate a female voice. I mean, instead of you imitating a female voice. <laughs> hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's uh, great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... He... <laughs> hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. <laughs> Like all my friends. Like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. Uh, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> so I think a lot of the mon I think the narrative is like a lot of these monsters are re like expecting Undyne to help them escape. I think. Yeah. Toot. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember this one. Um. Is it conduct? No, it's not. I've got to steal the other one. It seems much more comfortable singing along. You can ca you can spare now, but if you carry on, you, you basically just get like a bit more flavour text. I shall do that. You keep smiling, but nothing happened. Is it hum? Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. <laughs> see fa, see fa, so fa, so mi ra, ri ri, so mi fa. <laughs> I don't know anything about musical scales. So <laughs> Sans is selling t tickets made out of toilet paper. Of course he is. <laughs> Your favorite rhymes wildly. Sand is still selling tickets. Let's hum some more. Maybe that was solid. The, the seats are sold out. You feel like more. a rock star. <laughs> the crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. <laughs> <laughs> you hum some more, but the constant attention. The tours, the groupies, it's all... It's all... Aggressive tooting. Oh. Thinks about her future. Got away with that lucky one. there. You and Sharon have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot. Oh! Ooh. That's not too bad, actually. Oh! Oh, that's a long one. Ah, got away with it. Yeah. Made it. 30 gold. <laughs> oh, I remember this bloody that, that piano. Oh! His power is no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of a monster called Boss Monster. 
A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Quite foreboding. The boss monster. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. <laughs> yes, I will. Sure. Put the umbrella on the statue. Yep. Yeah. The music box begins to play. I'm just trying to. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, if I l wait a bit, it'll. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, there. Blank, upright, blank. 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 Uh, uh, was it down, down, right? Yes, it was. Yes, first time, wicked. Yes. Little optional Easter egg. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Um, what have I got? Have I... Whoa. <laughs> Annoying dog. Annoying dog. When did we get will, that? Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Right, okay. Let's uh, get rid of the dog. You put the dog on the ground. The dog absorbs the artifact. <laughs> the artifact is gone. And now we've got dog residue. <laughs> dog residue. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, let's take another umbrella. Why not? Take a relaxing stroll through the caverns. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's Monster <laughs> Kid again. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go. I think I had a, like, a striped pyjamas when I was a kid, but I don't remember wearing a striped shirt. Yes. <laughs> I can, uh, Dennis the Menace but wears a striped shirt, but different colour, of course. But that's the only so the only character I can think of that wears a striped shirt <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> Tra la 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 la. I don't even know whether it's actually possible to get to that flower there. There pro it probably is like a secret way to get there, but I've never found it. We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate one of his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She'd beat up all the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> so when you play a game that you really like, uh, do you sometimes look up how to do stuff, or do you just rely on yourself figuring um, it out? I have been known to look at walkthroughs, like if I'm really stuck and I just don't know what the hell to do, so I have done that in the past, but... Um, but I mean, if you want to, like, find the secrets, uh, maybe a secret ending Not, or, uh, not always, like... like, I think with Undertale, I did look into some of the secrets, but again, there's... I haven't looked at everything because they get, like especially with like the Undertale, I think like um it gets to a certain point where like I don't want to see everything. I'd rather like leave some things a mystery, you know, if that makes sense. Like um like in case you want to revisit Yeah, it exactly. So I don't want to like uncover every stone just in case if I want to play it again. Yeah. And that sometimes, like, I'm just done with a game. Like, even though, like, I've, I've played it once, I haven't really necessarily done all the secrets, but um, I've uh, I've had my fill of it, and, like, I'll just leave it at that. Um, it, it depends on the game. Uh, I haven't done it with every game, but um, Undertale, I've certainly looked up some of the secrets because of I wanted to know, like, some things didn't quite make sense in the lore and stuff like that. Or to me, anyway. But um, playing through, like, uh, looking through different dialogue trees and looking at other people playing the game in a different way. There's like all sorts of extra nuggets that, um, that adds extra um, 
detail to the background of the story. Like with Undertale, it's um, there's a lot of um, like it feels like there's a lot of untapped secret lore that um, Toby Fox hasn't really um, elaborated on yet. Like a lot of it will probably be a lot more of it will definitely will be um, uh, talked about in Deltarune. Uh, I still don't know whether that game is like a sequel or a prequel or whatever, but um, again, I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but um, it will make sense once we get to it. Um, but uh, that's what I like about it. There's a lot of secret like stuff that hasn't been um, revealed yet, which is quite cool. And I'm going to get impaled on some spikes. I better get a move on. Undyne wants me dead. Let's get out of here. See if I can get through it without being touched. Oh. Oh, nice. I think it's this way. Is it this way. Oh, that was close. <laughs> it's close. Uh, is it this way? I think it's this way. Oof. Try to remember the. Oh. This is getting progressively harder. Ah! Oh, oh no! Me, damn it! Oh well, but if you do get hit, it does slow down a little bit. Well, not by much, but like you do get a little bit of a breather. Ooh, okay, well, I think we're in the clear now. Let's get out of here. Whoa, that was close. Let's get out of here. Oh no, we are doomed. Oh god. Dead end. Uh, <laughs> I fought him on death. Oh dear. Or not. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. James, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Is... Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognise. Just garbage. <laughs> The yeah. I think this would be a yeah nice place to end this part as we've been. Yes, I think so. Uh, we've recorded for another over hour. Um, that'll be uh, we can carry on with this at some point. Thank you for joining us for part two. Let us know in the comments what you think, and uh, we'll get we'll carry on uh, with part three and see where we end up in the Undertale story. And hopefully, this game fills you with determination as it has us. See you guys next time.